Sure. I, I don't know how that will sound in the song, because I immediately forgot what the song sounds like already. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really paid attention that much. Let's start over here. Oops. Preset. Let's let's do something else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna cl click the pattern. And just keep playing it. It's gonna drive me nuts. But whatever. Hyper saw puck. It's it's better. It's better. But um, I'm gonna just look at different stuff. I like that actually. I actually like that. I think I'll use it in some of my songs. I've never heard this before, but I will use it in some of my songs. You know, I, I feel like I shouldn't start in the middle because it sounds really weird. Um. Okay. That, that sounds fine. Okay. Let's continue on, shall we? That was my dad. Please excuse him. Okay, that actually kind of sounded like a melody already, but... Okay, let's move on to the melody. Okay, um... I kind of want to use a piano for this melody. And I don't know why, I just will. And you guys can use whatever you want. Because I don't care. Um, I'm pretty sure Fruit Loops comes with FL keys. I'm not totally sure. If it doesn't, then you can, uh, like... You can look up, like, on, on Google or whatever, um... <clears throat> Look up p piano sound fonts or something, and then just like download that and put it into FL Studio if you don't have a piano. I have to really. I don't like this piano. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's make a tune. I don't know what to note to start on. Start on this. Um, I don't really remember what key I'm on, so. Okay, let's listen to that. Okay, gross. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna change this note. I'm gonna change this note from a C sharp to a D. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I thought that would sound a little bit better, and I don't want to make the melody like that short. That's gross. Uh, no. Yeah, that sounds good. Why is my keyboard so? Okay. 
Okay, my keyboard's making really not very loud noises, but I can deal with that. That's not gonna work. Eh, there we go. Let's put this down in octave. Oops, I accidentally copied that. I didn't want to do that. Okay, put that down in octave. Let's see what this sounds like. Alright. Oops. Okay, let's listen to it now. I kind of want to continue this. Make the melody longer. This is like a decently simple melody. <coughs> oh, I forgot totally like important part of FL Studio. I'm forgetting everything, okay? Give give me a break. Um if you press control on your keyboard and you click and hold, it's pretty much like dragging, like you know what you do on your desk desktop when Windows loads and showing you my desktop but that's okay um you know when you drag like that yeah that's pretty much what you're doing in fl studio you're selecting stuff but you have to press control first and if you want to like select more more than once like if you say you want to do this and then you want to just select a little bit over here you press control shift and then you can select more than one thing like have different selections <coughs> See what this sounds like. Just, I, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but that's good. That's really good. I think I might even put that in my, one of my songs. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. Okay, so here you have like um. Continue this on. You know what? Why not? Here, so this is basic, basic, basic structure of a song in FL Studio. If you want, you can add stuff like effects. Um, I don't know what Citrus has in the way of effects, but I'm. This this isn't really. You guys don't need to do this. I have a plugin called Harmer. It doesn't come with FL Studio. You have to get that separately. But I'm going to put in some FX just to show you what I mean by FX. So I'm going to do something like this. Nah, let's try this. But I suggest you guys get Harmer. This is actually a really good program. I got a plugin. Okay. Just add this effect down, FX down here, and then that's what you would usually put before, like, like a big like chorus kind of thing. But I'm not going to do that because that's basically use the same structure as this. Uh, now I kind of want to make a chorus just to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> for the chorus, you might want to change up the beat a little bit. So chorus beat. And just pretty much, <clears throat> I'm just changing up the beat a little bit. I'm pressing. I'm honestly pressing 
random things. I, I don't really under, know what I'm doing properly. So. Uh, there, there's a uh, chorus beat. Oh, I forgot to. I gotta re recolor the slang. Rename color. I'm gonna make flat. <coughs> I'm gonna make that green. There you go. So you have like your chorus beat. And then the bass, I'm gonna make a. You know what? Just for you guys, I'm gonna do something special. I'm gonna do a dubstep bass wobble. Dubstep wobble. And again, I'm going to use Harmer. I'm sorry, it doesn't come with Harmer, but I'm using it anyways. Just, just. I already showed you the structure of the song. I'm just giving you, I'm just sugarcoating it, okay? So, um, I already have one that I made earlier. <laughs> There. Actually, delete that. You know what? So you guys can actually, you can, you guys can actually do that. I have something easier. Um, <coughs> open Citrus and choose a base. Um, I'm gonna go with this. Um, 